So this is the first time I've ever actually appeared on camera, personally. I've always had a phobia of cameras, but I figure if I'm going to do this YouTube thing, I might want to take it more seriously. So, I'm going to actually show my face. I'm a little dirty today. I've been working on my new 2011 Ford Ranger. which There's a whole story behind this truck, but we'll get into that later. I also have finally figured out how to edit videos which is something I'm pretty excited about. It took me a while to get my hands on the right software, but I have the right stuff now. I've had the equipment. I'm recording with it right now. It's just a Sony Handycam. There's nothing special to it, but I finally got the software. I have two video editing softwares, one for PC, one for Mac. I'm gonna see which one works the best for presenting my video. I traded in a 2018 Dodge Caravan for this 2011 Ford Ranger. Why would I do that, you ask? because this is the best you could get a Ford Ranger. This was the last year model of the original Ranger. I am not partial to the new Ranger that they're selling now and that they have been selling since 2019. I prefer the classic Ranger, the small Ranger. This is a two-wheel drive Ranger with the 2.3 liter Duratec engine. I didn't want a four-wheel drive and I really just didn't want the four liter. I just wanted a good, honest truck. And that's what I bought. So, I found a dealer up in Milwaukee. I had been shopping for a couple months. I've test driven probably six of these now. This was the nicest one I could find. And this one met all the criteria of what I wanted. It has power locks and windows, air conditioning, it has Sirius XM satellite radio, which I do use. It has the MP3 radio, air conditioning, the nice interior. It's the extended cab, but it's not the four door. There's no there's no door here. This is just a solid piece. It's just, a, it's just an extended cab. As you can see, it's very clean. It has a nice tonneau cover, which opens up for full access to the bed. Keep all my tools in here. It has a factory bed liner, which is unusual. This is an aftermarket. This was made by Ranch, and it is color matched to this truck. Now, as you can see, this has every option. Like I said, the power windows, the power locks, has the nice leather wrapped steering wheel, cruise control, the five speed automatic transmission, the nice seating. Why a Ford Ranger, not another pickup truck? Because honestly, my family always had Fords when I was growing up. My personal first vehicle was a 1995 Ford Aerostar. I put a lot of miles on that van and I had a lot of fun with it. My dad always had a purple 94 Ranger with the tonneau cover just like this one. And I always loved that truck. I would always borrow it from him if I could because it was more fun to drive than the minivan. It was a five-speed stick. It was the old 2.3 liter, the, uh, the Lima engine, not this Duratec engine. And I loved that truck. We had to get rid of it a few years ago because it just rotted out. It just wasn't viable anymore. Now since then, I've actually had a few other Ford Rangers. I would say I've probably had five or six of them now, but they've always been in some form of deteriorated condition. Severe rust, mechanical issues, severe rust usually, or just generally not taken care of and very hammered. I actually own two Ford Rangers right now. I've made another video about the 2003 with the rotted bed, which by the way, that has a new bed on it now. I'm in process of fixing that right now, but I did do the trade-in in the meantime on this Ford Ranger, which I'm exceptionally happy with. This is the nicest pickup truck I've ever had. I traded this in at a dealer in Milwaukee. It was an even trade, and I got cash from the dealership because my 18 Caravan was worth more than this. I'm not going to say on camera what I paid for this because I did get ripped off a little bit, but that's just buying, selling, and trading cars, unfortunately, and I wanted to go through a dealership because I didn't want to sell the van to something like CarMax or private party where, yeah, I may get more money and I could go out and private party buy a 2011 Ford Ranger. But the reason I didn't do that is I wanted a dealership that had done the inspection on it. Wisconsin requires vehicle inspections, which means they can't sell junk to you. I didn't want to be sold junk. This isn't junk. There's always risk with buying from a private party. So I went through autotrader.com and I did a lot of driving. I put a lot of miles on that caravan, which unfortunately devalued it a little bit. I ended. I found this in Milwaukee. The dealership worked a deal with me and I'm happy. I now have a 2011 Ranger, which 
you will see in other videos. This is my first time, like I said, actually presenting myself and presenting what I'm showing. So let's move on. And now for a good old fashioned walk around of my 2011 Ranger, just so you can see all the details. Now, being a Wisconsin truck, it does have some rust that I'm going to treat and take care of. And before winter rolls around, which by the way, I'm not gonna drive this truck in the winter, that's not happening. I'll be driving the 2003. I'm gonna be taking the bat, taking the tonneau off, taking the bed off, gonna treat the frame, gonna make sure everything's properly rust proof, gonna clean up the back side of the bumper. There is a little bit of rust forming here, unfortunately, and there's a little bit behind it. Gonna take the receiver hitch off here, clean that up. I'm gonna use some chassis saver or pour 15. I'm gonna decide which one works best. There's a little bit on the bottoms of the doors, but for the most part, this truck is utterly immaculate. Has a nice optional wheel with General Grabber tires on it. Now again, this is just a two-wheel drive Ranger, so there's nothing super fancy about it. But these are very, very good looking wheels. Now this was a one owner truck, which really surprised me. I have the Carfax and everything on this, and that was another reason I wanted to go through a dealership. Just look at how clean this truck is. The original floor mats are still here. The original seating is pristine. Look at that. There's not even wear and tear in it. This seat is pristine. And everything is here, everything works. Look at that, there's no paint peeling off the bezel. Just the leather wrapped wheel is beautiful. It's clean. I mean, look at the headliner. That is just gorgeous. Do a quick under the hood here. If I can get the latch with a one handed, this is a lot harder than you'd expect. And here it is the fearsome Mazda 2.3 Duratec. Not much to it. Simple and reliable and clean. Look at that. All I've done is just wipe this engine down. I haven't done anything to it. The only thing I did to it was put new spark plugs and wires in it because I felt it needed it. Went with Napa Belden Blue and NGK Platinums. Nothing fancy. It's just a clean, clean little truck. I hope this video proves to be a good learning experience for myself and maybe brings a little more interest to my YouTube channel instead of me just holding the camera and just kind of talking about stuff. I'm actually going to try and film things now. Like, what I have, I'm planning on doing some front suspension work to this truck. The sun is in my eyes and it's incredibly bright, but it's great for the camera. I want to do some suspension work to it to tighten that up a little. It is still very factory under there. It's a little loosey-goosey. The shocks are shot. Same thing with back here. Still got the factory shocks. They're a little loosey-goosey and shot. I just want to get this truck to be a pristine, perfect driver. And now that I have figured out how to edit my videos and get blinded by the sun, holy cow, I can actually take you guys along for the adventure. So, I hope this has proven to be entertaining. I would love any insight you have to offer. Unfortunately, right now, I have to use the microphone on the camera as I do not have a lapel mic. I'm going to be shopping for one of those very soon. You can hope for more updates. Leave any information, knowledge, wisdom, whatever you want to leave for me down in the comments that might help me present better to you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this is entertaining, and I hope to do more of this.